already feel that God is doing something new in my life. And if he's doing it in my life, he's doing something in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. We are continuing with the word as we purpose this week. Winding up a month. A month of prayer. Our main text, 2 Chronicles, chapter 20, and verse 12. Let us use 12 because we don't have much time. My prayer is that God may lift you up in prayer that your spirit may commence praying. Amina. Amina. And not only praying, may God answer your prayer. Now you have a list of things you have written down somewhere. These are items, all things you are praying about. And we have a confidence that God hears our prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me read this. It's, uh, it's not about reading the entire Bible, but you know, we rather read the same thing over and over until it comes into our spirits and faith will come and miracles will follow. So I'm, I'm bringing the two topics we have covered together, uh, covered this week already. I'm bringing them today and I'm adding one on top of it. Jehoshaphat is king of Judah, a man of prayer, and he is invaded by an army of three kings, a multitude of, of forces, and he looks at the army, maybe go verse, what was that verse, verse 5, and he looks at the army and it's too much. And he, he calls and he's, a, he's afraid and he decides to seek the Lord. And yesterday we said, when you are overwhelmed, please seek the Lord. Amina. Amina. Do not run away from God because you have problems. Run to God. The righteous run into the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amina. Jehoshaphat was afraid. And he set his face to seek the Lord. And he proclaimed a fast throughout Judah. And Judah assembled to seek help from the Lord. First clap for yourself for coming to seek the Lord. God will help you. Amina. Amina. Because you have run to him seeking for help. So they assembled to seek help from the Lord from all the cities of Judah. They came to seek Yahweh. And Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Judah. And Jerusalem. Jerusalem in the house of the Lord. Before the new court. And he said. Oh Lord God of our fathers. Are you not 
God of heaven. Position. Because when you are praying to Rubale, where is Rubale? He comes from the dead. From the pit. But this prayer is unto one who is in heaven. I don't want to explain much. Maybe Thursday I'll stem, spend some time on that. You, will, you rule over all kingdoms. Of the nations. Potential. In your hand, there is power and might so that none is able to withstand you. Position to potential. Actually, it's power as well. Did you not our God drive out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and give it to them forever. Performance. He has a record. He has ever done it for someone. If God has ever performed a miracle for someone, then he can do it for you. The Bible says he's a respecter of no person. So it means what he did for others, he can do for you. What he did in the past, he can do it for you. He can do it for you. What he did in the past, he can do it for you. Hallelujah. You can even refer to him and say, God of Bethel, who did this for Bethel? Arise for me. It is your past performance. Hallelujah. Amen. God of Patrick. Patrick. Arise for me. You performed in his life. Perform in my life. Performance. Position. Power, Amen. potential, Obusobozi. performance. Okora. Our God is able. I wish we were permitted. I want you to tell your neighbor from a distance that the, I'm going to be a miracle tomorrow. You will look at me and you will not remember me. God is going to perform his work in me. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to change the situation. Christians are like chameleons. They don't die. They do not die on, uh, with what one color. What you see now is not what you will see tomorrow. Because we have a God who performs. Hallelujah. Amen. And you know, he, he goes on to, to tell God about the things he has done. And I just want to jump some scriptures and I want him to, to let, me, let me see verse 20, not verse 20. I want to, to read about his strategy. There he is. And behold, verse, verse 10. I don't want to read too much. And behold, the men of Ammon and Moab and Sail, whom you would not let Israel invade. When we were coming out of the land of Egypt, whom they, did, whom they avoided and did not destroy. Behold, their reward is 
they, they, are reward, they, they reward us coming to drive us out of, of your possession. Which you have given to us. Oh God. Will you not execute judgment on them? Will you not? Mukama. Are you not willing? The willingness of God. For we are powerless. We cannot do it. We are powerless against this great horde which is coming against us. We do not know what to do. But our eyes are on you. Hallelujah. There is no strength in us. We have, we have, we have no plan. We have no capital. We have no connections. We have nothing completely. But our eyes are on you. I wonder whether you get those words, but they touch me. You they, do they not concern me. have anything, my son. When you close your eyes and you call your property into vision, you have nothing. When you call friends, you have no one. When you call money, you have no money. You are powerless. But your eyes are open. Mukuru Patrick, how did you become Have we had Mukuru Achika? We have no power. We have no money. We have no friends. Is there someone here who can boast that you have friends? You just wait to lose. When your money will go, you will see. Then you realize even those you call friends, they are not real friends. We have no money. We have no plan. We have no friends. We have no family. <laughs> Just give your wife only uh, silver fish for, for one week, you'll see. <laughs> There's a man. He was a preacher. Always preaching but bringing that whatever you called it silver fish. Yes. It was silver fish. He's a preacher, he's a, he's a pastor. Then one day the members of the church visited home. And they found his wife. And they said, Where is your husband? And he said, I don't know. He just went there to preach his gospel. Even when it comes to money, your family can forsake you or forget you. You have no power. We are powerless. The challenge is big. And it is coming against us. We do not know what to do. But our eyes are on you, God. Our eyes are on you. That's true. 
Where you've sat, fix your eyes to God. Psalms 115, verse 12. We saw yesterday. The Lord has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. I was saying yesterday and I'm saying today God is thinking about you. God is thinking about me. Sometimes you look at things and they do not add up. But God is thinking about you. He will bless you. God will bless you. I want you to say in the name of Jesus. I receive my blessing. From above. I'm receiving my blessing. From God. Because I have confidence. That he hears my prayer. So we are not only preaching, we are praying at the same time. When I say something and it rhymes with what is going on in your heart, in, in, immediately put in your prayer. When I say God will bless you, you say he will bless me with a house, he will bless me with a job, he will bless me with promotion, he will bless me with energy, he will bless me with friends. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Because you have a confidence. We will not be the same. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at Matthew chapter 8, verse 3, the willingness of God. I'm speaking to the sick person. God is willing. Give me verse 1. I'm going to just give you a few things God is willing to do. Tonight, I want to say, God wants to heal you. God wants to heal you. He is not only thinking about you. He is willing to do something. Now the Bible tells us the story. When he came down from the mountain, the he there is Jesus. Great multitudes followed him. And behold, a leper came and worshipped him. Now, you, you need to know that a leper is a hopeless person. By law, he is not even supposed to enter the temple or to be among people. He is rejected. He is sick. Incurable. An irreversible disease. Whatever the name of the disease is, is. It is in the which which does not heal. God is saying something about that. Hallelujah. Amen. This man was a leper. In his days, leprosy is incurable. Not only incurable, it makes you religiously 
unclean. You are separated from the society. They would tie a bell around you. That when you are walking, the bell would ring. And you must say along with the bell. You must be saying at the same time. That I am unclean. I am unclean. So that other people may run away. He is sick. He is rejected. He cannot worship. He is dying. He is alone. He is hopeless. You are sick. You are lonely. You are dying. You are unclean. And you meet Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And I know with events, this leper meets Jesus. And he worshipped him. He worshipped. And he said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. If you are willing, you can make me well. There is someone hearing me today. You are battling something. And you are saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can heal my disease. If you are willing, you can take AIDS away. If you are willing, you can take asthma away. If you are willing, you can take tumors away. If you are willing, you can move on my behalf. Because you know, Everyone is not willing. I move around crying, I am unclean, I am unclean, I am unclean. Tambulanze kabwe ngenda mpogana, siri mulongo fu, siri mulongo fu, siri mulongo fu. Doctors are saying there is no hope. Nabasawo bangamba mpawo sobi. But if you are willing, nayebo bango oyagala, you can make me clean. Nongo sa. Hallelujah. Amen. And Jesus put out his hand. He touched him. Saying. I am willing. Be clean. I am willing. Be clean. Someone here receive your healing. For Jesus is saying, I am willing to be healed. I am heal willing. Let the tumors disappear. I am willing. Let the, the, the blood system be healed. Let the AIDS go. I am willing. Let the headaches disappear. I am willing. Let your legs be made well. I am willing. Let the tumors disappear. Let the cancer disappear. I am willing. Let your ears open. I am willing. Let the lame walk. Let the blind see. Let the lepers be made well. I am willing. Come on, if you are clapping your hands. You are praying and you are receiving healing. You are receiving healing in your body today. Because God is saying, I am willing. I am willing. Be made clean. I am willing. Be healed. 
be healed. Be healed. God is willing. Katonda ayagala. I am willing. Njagala. He stretched out his hand. Nagororo mukono gwe. And touched him. Na mukomako. And he said. Nagamba. I am willing. Nsima. Wanike mikone. Put up your hands. Close your eyes. Sibiri za masogo. I don't know who's sick. Simanyi animal what day. I don't know who's ailing. You know what is confusing you about your body. Right now, may Jesus stretch out his hand. And touch you. Touch you. Touch you. Be healed. 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 I am willing. Njagara. Be healed. In Jesus' name. Give God a clap of prayer. It will go. You will check. It's not there. A few weeks ago, a lady came to me with her grandchild. Who could not speak because of a stutter? The stutter came after a, an illness. And the little boy could no longer speak. It would take a lot of hardship for the boy to say one word. The story goes that when her mom was pregnant, a man came to her office asking for money. And the lady did not treat well the, that man who was begging for money. She spoke so badly. And as this poor man was walking out, he said to the woman, you are pregnant and you speak badly. That, that child in your womb will not speak. And the baby was born, grew up well, started speaking his first words. Then a disease came, which they say is a bacteria attack. And the mouth went mute. And she was here two weeks ago. My child, my grandchild, the grandmother is the one who brought the child. She is born again, the daughter is not. She said, let me take the child for prayer. And she brought the child. And I laid hands on the child. Who was only crying through the prayer. And they went away. Today she came back. This morning. With the child speaking. Hallelujah. Amen. God is able to treat any situation. And I want you to say God is willing. You will be well. God is willing. You will be well. Now, something is rolling up and going. Something is coming out of your body. A messenger of darkness is being broken. I will and I will heal you. God is willing to supply. Philippians chapter 4. 
verse 19 is willing to heal and is willing to supply. And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. My God shall supply. My God shall supply. He is a supplier willing to supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Let us check out some versions what they say. ESV. ESV. My God will supply, not shall, but will. He will, he will, he will, he will. He will supply my food. He will supply your clothes. He will supply your money. He will supply your house. He will supply your wedding. He will supply your body. He will supply. My God is a supplier. He supplies for all my need. Hallelujah. Amen. Just believe. He will supply. Let me tell you my old story again. Being a good receiver. You know there are people who are good at asking. But they are poor in receiving. There are people you give something and they even fear receiving. In fact, I was taught, I learned this in London. That you must learn to receive. There are those who are very good receivers, but then are not good at asking. Hallelujah. Amen. Even when it is theirs, they would not take it. Like that elder brother who stayed at home. The prodigal asked and went. The elder stayed and asked not. You need to know how to receive. So in his it ninety-five, he said, "I need to receive." So in year ninety-five, I went to London. It was my first time to to, to go and preach there. I went as a mere preacher, just a mere. preacher. In fact, I, I bought a watch on Cooperative Bank. The, on the, the compound of the Cooperative Bank. There were these disco watches. And disco. They could put them in bundles. You would buy it, put it on your hand. And by the time you get into the taxi, it, it has died. <laughs> Sometimes you would be waving and it would fall off. <laughs> So I went to London with my disco watch. I didn't know that it was going to stumble the brethren. <laughs> I preached my sermon. Ended my sermon. And as we were going out, a brother said, Pastor, Musumba. he gave me a watch. <laughs> I received the watch. Then, as we were getting into the compound, one brother said, I am coming to visit you tomorrow at, at 10. I want to take you somewhere. I said, thank you. 
Then another person came. And gave me a watch. <laughs> so already I have three. My disco plus two. I went home. In the morning, kumacha, 10 in the morning, sawa the kumacha, brother came orinajia, and he said, I've come. Gamba, nzize, I'm taking you somewhere. We are going to buy a watch. <laughs> now, we, we started this journey from London, Croydon. And he was taking me to Wembley. And we were going through jam. jam. And I was asking myself, why don't we buy a watch and eat this thing? <laughs> there, are there, are, there are watches there. There are watches there. We are in traffic going. Through. I told him, brother, why can't we buy here a watch? He would not answer me. He would continue driving. Then we reached somewhere in there in Wembley. There was this jewelry shop. The ones which are closed before the customer enters. Actually, you literally knock to enter. And they place a buzzer and whatever open and you come in. And we enter. And the place is so lit, so many beautiful watches. And he told me, pick a watch. Where was a sour? <laughs> now, for me, I was just a few years in marriage. Our mm. child is five years old. He is telling me, pick a watch. And I look down and I'm looking at these watches. And he came. He said, Pastor, don't look down. There are watches up here. But then I look at the watches up there. 300 pounds. 200 pounds. 400 pounds. My head is busy doing the mathematics. School fees for one year. School fees is a mwakamulamba. Hey. I, I go to another one. I calculate. I can buy Christine a cloth. And, and my children. And I can pay school fees. I can pay school fees. So the, the man came to me. And he said. Pastor. Musumba. Please. Be a good receiver. That is when I learned that word. Now this boy was very grounded in prosperity. And prosperity teaching. And he started telling me some things which were strange to me. And he told me, Pastor, you must learn to receive with an open heart. You must be ready to receive. He said, I've come into this shop. I just want you to pick a watch. Not these ones down here. Those up there. There was a watch which was even on a platform rotating. It has got a spotlight on it. It's a Rolex. Rolex. And I've never I fear even to own one. <laughs> but then 
Then he says, what about that? And the man, when he pointed, the man who was selling just pulled out the, the watch. Then he said, the one who is calculating. The other man. This one. Guarantees money how many years. Then he's saying it is scratch proof. He threw it in water. water. Gold. Zabu. Gold. The chain is gold. Then he said, are you buying? And the man said, I'm buying. 300 pounds. 350. I was get, getting. But I'm busy. <laughs> Calculating school fees. I'm, I'm busy, sad because of my children's clothes. At times God wants to bless you, but your heart is still closed. If you are there, say amen. One day I'll come back and share with you about receiving. Uh, asking it's a spirit and even receiving it's a spirit. So I received a, 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 a watch and he told me, Pastor, put it on. Sincerely, when I put on that watch, it made everything I was dressing very cheap. <laughs> and I could be arrested. <laughs> and he was happy. We drove back to London. He was talking and happy. God is willing to supply. Are you willing to receive? A young girl came to me. She was going to do her exams. And she said, Pastor, pray for me that I may pass my senior four. I told her, God sit there and write your results, the results you want to do. And she came back after a few minutes. And this, she had written something like this. Geography 70. Geography and Sambu. History 60. History and Kaga. Mathematics 49. Echibaro and Muta Mumuenda. Chemistry 50. Chemistry at And I asked her. Tenava Mobuza. We are going to ask God for 49. Together and Aksava Mukama Kuana Mumuenda. And she said, She told me that's what I am able to do. Many people. God is willing to supply. But their hearts are too small. That God cannot give them what he wants to supply. The Bible is saying. God will supply every need. If you have small needs. God will supply small needs. If you create big needs. God God will supply big needs. If you are there, say amen. You must be able to receive the big things God wants to do for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Be able to be ready to receive. Creating you a desire of big things. Desire good things. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let 
me give you another testimony. Patrick is the one. Now, one time I was here. And a member of our church called me. He said, Pastor, I want to buy you a suit and a shirt. I said, well and good. Then he told me, I'm waiting for you. There was a shop, oh, but it's still there. There's a shop there near Cairo Bank. It was called Winner Classic. Cairo Bank and it Winner Classic. And he said, I'm waiting for you to go there. That I may call them. When I, I arrived in the shop, he, I told them to call the rich man. And he told them, as my pastor arrived, the suit he picks is the one you give him. That was not difficult. But then he told me, you need to pick a white shirt. And you know, in Winner Classic, Classic, the shirt was one million. White. And he told me, pick a white shirt. I looked at the white shirt. And it was one million. And I called him. I told him. There is a white shirt here. But we can buy elsewhere. <laughs> And he told me, Nangamba, Pastor, Musumba, Obadechi, what's wrong with you? Kati, Mubutuf. In fact, Esatieri, that shirt, Nganjeru, it was just white. Nganjeru, quarter million, Yemune Ngure Kutia Yamasat. In that one million, I would have bought a sack of shirts. It really, it was really hard for me. Even at that time, I had completely nothing in my pocket. I told him, brother, let us be wise. <laughs> God has come to provide. But the one is being provided, the one is providing for his mouth is small. God is saying, open and I feel you. For you, your mouth is closed. And I was busy negotiating. I'm the one calling uh, 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 my brother. We need wisdom. <laughs> and he was saying, Pastor, you are going to get a shirt. A white shirt. From that shop. Period. Period. Actually, he was telling me to remove that narrow-mindedness. I told I came with that shirt. I opened it and put it on. It was white, <laughs> but putting it on, it was very unique. It was unique. I was just buying color. For him, he was buying the uniqueness of this shirt. Tell your neighbor, there is a young girl who visited her home. And they gave her a bedroom where to stay. I'm cutting short because we need to pray. In the morning, the host came. 
and found her sleeping on a bare mattress. The girl looked at the, the bed sheets. And she folded them and put them aside. <laughs> there are things God wants to supply from his riches in glory. And he is willing for Jesus. God is willing. God is willing. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, someone is giving me Psalms 81 and verse 10. God wants you to prepare for a miracle. He wants you to do something. And he will supply. He will supply. He wants you to prepare where you will build your house. And he will supply. He wants you to go and do window shopping. And he will supply. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Love for Jesus. Receive a job as you clap your hands. Receive your car as you clap your hands. Receive a promotion as you clap your hands. Receive a, a new beginning as you clap your hands. Receive your wedding as you clap your hands. Receive the power as you clap your hands. Receive favor as you clap your hands. God will supply, God will supply, God will supply, God will supply, God will supply. Supply, God will supply. Yes, Lord. I will supply. You know, I built my house where I'm staying today. And I said, ah, never going to build again. Recently, the Lord was visiting me. And he was asking me, why can't you believe for another house? Why can't you believe for another house? God can still provide. We love love and receive your house. Receive it. He will supply. He will supply. He will supply. Your own house. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Let me talk over you. Keep clapping. He will supply. Another house. Your own house. He will supply. Another car. Your own car. He will supply. A bigger job. Your own job. He will supply. Supply. A lot of power. In the name of Jesus. He will supply. Another blessing. Another journey. Another ticket. He will supply. Another opportunity. Hallelujah. Gamma Muno, I will be back. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, Yakoma, wo. God was telling me, now, did you get tired of building? I, got, I finished building. It's not you building. The Bible says, unless the Lord builds, builders do it in vain. God, God is building building bricks and, and, sand. and you are saying that you are through. He's still bringing, he's still supplying. Are you there, friends?
Tonight I want to encourage you that you need to get fed up. Say enough is enough. Say that I'm leaving this place, I'm going to another level. New things, good things are coming. God is bringing something that makes me happy because you think about me it excites me Lord because you are telling me to build it excites me Lord because the, the life of buying new things listen God is telling someone here you always buy old things into your house all this time build, buy something new and take you it in the house you need to tear out the polythene paper out of, of that thing God wants to supply are you believing? are you believing? Do you believe in miracles? Do you believe in miracles? Does God answer your prayers? Do you have confidence? I will never be the same because of the words I've had today. Because of the word I've had today, I expand my heart. I open my mouth that God may fill me with. Rise to your feet in the name of Jesus. Begin to change yourself. Begin to dream. God is willing to heal. God is willing to deliver. God is willing to supply. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to begin praying. Pray for your bodies. Pray for the supply of your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ronde 